body, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why? I'm in love with your body, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why? I'm in love with your body. The club isn't the best place to find a lover, so the bar is where I go. Me and my friends sat at the table doing shots, drinking fast, and then we talk slow. And you come over and start up a conversation with just me, and trust me, I'll give it a chance. Take my hand, stop, find the man on the jukebox, and then we start to dance. The girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead. Come, come on now, follow my lead. I'm in love with the shape of you. You push and pull like a magnet do. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. And last night you were in my room. And now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I. I'm in love with your body. I'm in love with your body. No, I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy who can get no love from me. Looking at his passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Don't want no scrub. Get no love from me. No, no. Oh, you got me feeling. Love. Is it like the ocean? Don't know the words yet, but you make it up on the spot. How deep is your love? Oh yeah, yeah. How deep is your love? Believe in yourself and open up what you want. You're gonna make it happen, make it happen. Yeah. And I'm with you while I get these wild thoughts. Wow, wow, wow. But I'm with you, all I get is wild thoughts. Yeah. Maria, Maria. Oh, yeah. She reminds me of a West Side story. Yeah, yeah. Growing up in Spanish Harlem. Uh -huh. She's living a life just like a movie star. I'm in love with your body, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why. I'm in love with your body, oh, yeah. I'm in love with your body. This is Food is Love and today we're going to be making baked ravioli which we're really excited about. Okay, the first step is making your pasta dough which we're going to show you how to do over here. So what you're going to need for your dough is 280 grams of double zero flour, also known as pasta flour, a good pinch of salt and four eggs. We're going to be using two whole eggs and two of them we're just going to be using the yolks. Hold on to those whites because if it gets a bit too firm or dry we might end up using them. But making a pasta dough is a lot more simple than you think. We're going to start off with our flour, straight into the bowl, add our salt and now we're going to add our eggs. So as I said, two whole eggs and two just yolks. Rock it back and forth to get rid of the whites. And just combine with a fork. 
you're going to want to see it start to come, turn into breadcrumbs and that's when you know you're going to be able to start squeezing it together and making your dough. Okay, so you can see now it's coming together and we're ready to knead that into a nice dough for our pasta. So dump it out on your side, as long as it's clean, and just start bringing it together with your hands. <laughs> Through this passive aggression, it's one upmanship. <laughs> it's my potatoes are better than yours. <laughs> you burn the quiche. Yeah, it's all that business. Right, you should be able to see just how much smoother that is. And this is going to go into the fridge for about an hour just to rest. These are the ingredients that are going to be making up our sauce. We have aubergine, diced onions, about half an onion there, chestnut mushrooms and four cloves of garlic. I think we might end up using three though. And we're also going to be using these herbs, just some nice basil and parsley. Very important in Maltese cooking. We're going to be layering this sauce in between the ravioli a little bit like a lasagna. now. This whole recipe all in all takes about, you want to want two hours until you're ready to eat. Long time doesn't necessarily mean hard because for you're only working really for about half an hour of that amount of time. Okay, for the sauce, you're going to want to start off with the onion and the garlic, just long enough so the oil starts to have that garlic infusion until they go a little bit translucent. And then we're going to add our other vegetables. Okay, that's good for us. We like a lot of bite in our vegetables. And in fact, I'm even going to rinse these out with a little bit of water and add that to the sauce as well. Okay guys, we're now going to be combining our filling for the ravioli. We've got ricotta, 500 grams, three eggs, a really good amount of parmesan that we got while we were in Malta just a week ago, salt and pepper, and a healthy amount of parsley. Oh, and of course, olive oil. So, ricotta, salt and pepper, just crack these eggs straight in. I did say healthy amount. Combine it with a fork. So when you first put your little piece of dough that you cut through the pasta maker, you're going to put it through on number one, which is the wider setting. And each time you pass it through, you're going to fold it and then pass it through again. And you're going to do that about two, maybe three times before we make the setting thinner to get up to number two. You might want to add a little bit of flour every now and then just to make sure it doesn't stick to your machine. 
first got a pasta machine as a gift and I ended up not using it for about four years because I thought it was going to be a really hard and drawn out process but the first time I did it and realised how easy it was I realised how much time I wasted just making it a big deal in my head, where is it? So as a way of keeping the pasta separate I've sprinkled semolina under it and then in between the sheets as well it's going to keep it usable and just fresh Okay, so now we're going to fill our ravioli. The task for any person with an appetite is to not overfill your ravioli. So we're gonna put a dot. This should get about three for this length of pasta. Dot. And dot. The way that we're going to make this ravioli stick is by using a little bit of water just in between each mound of filling and then we can lay our piece over the top. This piece is thinner than the bottom so we will have extra coming off the side. Yeah. And you can see here this isn't long enough to reach the end so what I'm going to do is just fold that over like that and I'll show you what I'm going to do later. But really that's as simple as it is. Stick the edges down and what I'm going to do, just because I like it, is go in with a fork and crimp the edges. A bit more uniform. But because we're putting them, kind of layering them, it's not really used doing that, we're just going to waste pasta. So I'm going to leave the rest of them like that, but that's your ravioli for you there. So what I'm going to do is just put some of my sauce in the bottom so that I can start laying my first layer of my ravioli at the bottom of the dish. Now, as and when, I should preheat my oven to about 175. We're on to our last layer, as you can see there's a beast of a ravioli right there, and we're just going to top it off the last of our tomato sauce. Because we have quite a lot of ricotta filling left over, I am just going to dot that randomly over the top and that's going to bake quite nicely like that. Okay, cheese-wise, I'm going to be using a mixture of the parmesan that we got from Malta, as we talked about earlier, so it's really fragrant. Gouda, which is kind of a peppery, nutty sort of taste, and just some natural breadcrumbs as well for crunch. Watch that sunlight catch your face Yeah, you amaze me Visual embrace Isn't it crazy? I would have never known You are the one for me But time let you call the show Open my eyes to see yeah we spend all night chasing getting lost through streets stargazing seeking those cheap thrills no faking just keeping it real with you got your head back chilled out cause that's the way that you are got me looking sideways Whilst I'm driving my car, my car Just thought that I would say I like rolling with you Got your head back, chilled out Cause that's the way that you are You are I know my word 
words they don't convey what I'm meaning by the way that I behave you see I'm not leaving you can get in my head and take up the rest of my heart spend the night in one bed it's more than just sex it's hard yeah we spend all night chasing getting lost through streets stargazing seeking those cheap thrills no faking just keeping it real with you got your head back chilled out cause that's the way that you are got me looking sideways whilst i'm driving my car my car just thought that Got your head back, chilled out Cause that's the way that you are You are Yeah, we spend all night Chasing Getting lost through streets Stargazing Seeking those she thrills No faking Just keeping it real with you oh, oh. You got your head back, chilled out Cause that's the way that you are I'm driving my car, oh my car And just thought that I would say I like rolling with you, oh no Got your head back, chilled out Cause that's the way that you are, you are Okay guys, it's been 40 minutes and it's ready to come it's a two out. Two-hand situation. It is. So just like with a lasagna, please let it rest for about 15 minutes before you cut it. That's our job done. Ravioli is one of those things in marquees where they just change it slightly to make it marquee. They call it ravioli instead of ravioli. <laughs>